Hi everybody, Sheila Tillich here, and this is In the Moment, my thought for today. You know, my thought for today is about self-sabotaging. What does that mean to me, and what does it mean to you? Well, self-sabotaging is how I sometimes behave, and it's not too becoming for me, and also it's not healthy for me. And I have been able to start to recognize it. So how would you recognize self-sabotaging behavior. The biggest thing for me is my thoughts. Am I thinking, stinking, thinking? Am I thinking positively or negatively? And also another thing is about how I treat myself each and every day. Am I taking care of myself? And a lot of times I don't. A lot of times I just go do whatever makes me feel better and just go on everyday thing like I always did. But I do know that Sometimes I self-sabotage myself by doing the same things. So I purposely have to put myself in the position of realizing I'm self-sabotaging. Saying, Sheila, is that really healthy for you? You know, eating that crap? Nah, it's not. Is it really healthy for me to just sit on my bum and not do anything physically? So I self-sabotage and say, like, oh, I'm just so tired. I just don't want to get up. Or the depression takes over and my problems and my stress and my worries take over. My anxiety takes over. It's like, no, it's not going to benefit me in any way. And I have been able to realize and look at my own self-sabotaging. So what about you? How do you self-sabotage? Do you have stinking thinking? Do you think negatively of yourself when you do something that you know you shouldn't do? Do you beat yourself up? A lot of times we do that. It's old programming. It's old ways of thinking and behaving and doing because that's what we think we should do. And also doing things for other people. Uh, you know, are we trying to please people instead of really taking care of ourselves? It's really about choices. About making different choices in your life. And the biggest thing about self-sabotaging is that you don't have to continue with it. You can recognize it and then you can let it go. And that's where you stop beating yourself up. Because that's the negative thinking. We, that we're not worthy enough, we're not good enough, and we're not doing it right. And it's like everybody isn't perfect, thank God. You know? And what I always say is that I am a miracle in construction. God's not done with me yet. So I have to role model that. And sometimes it's not easy to do when I self-sabotage. When I do the things I know that I shouldn't, and then I beat myself up for it. I'm not going to go very far that way. But what I do know is that I do not have to be perfect today. And then I can start over any time. I can start over, and as I start over, I'm actually moving forward. So think of it this way, of two steps forward, one step back. Three steps forward one step back. So see, you get, get the picture. You're still moving forward. You're still evolving. You're still becoming a different person, making different choices, and having a better, more fulfilling life. So for me, I'm going to stand in my power today and not beat myself up when I start to self-sabotage and just say, I'm okay, just for today. And you can do the same thing. We don't have to be perfect, and we can make mistakes, and we can make different choices. So, go have a beautiful day, everybody, and so will I. If you like this, please share, like, and also subscribe to my, um, my YouTube channel, or also my actual Facebook, my Facebook page, which is Sheila B. Healing, it's my business page, and also my website, go to my website. SheilaTillich.com and see all the different things that I can help you with, help you stand in your power. So have a magnificent, brilliant, bright day. Until next time, thanks for joining me for In the Moment. Bye-bye now.